Well, my name is Henry Kofoid, and I was uh, my role was a student on the committee. My name is Riley Williams, and I served as a teacher and a former Chandler Unified student. My name is Kayla Davidson. I attended Kistua High School, class of 2022. Hi, I'm Karen Meyer, and I am a community member. My name is Jane Anderson, and I was on the committee primarily because I am the communication director for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in Chandler. Typically, districts might just bring together teachers or they might just bring together parents. But to have all those different voices in one place allowed us in real time to react and kind of receive feedback and adjust maybe what our expectations are or kind of things that we might not have considered so that we can move forward in a united way. Well, I was a little nervous when I first walked in because it was a big room filled with tables and lots of people that I didn't necessarily know, but it was so convenient because there was a seating chart and I sat with a group of people that they were so wonderful and it was a very diverse crowd. We had a principal, another community member, a student, um, another teacher, and it was just great conversation. Uh, I thought it was a wonderful experience, you know, for a student like me to give the opportunity to voice his opinion about, you know, how school in the Chandler District has affected me as a person up to today. And I thought it was very special to, you know, be there on behalf of Castile. And not only that, um, on behalf of all students, you know, who, you know, go into school on a daily basis. And I thought it was a great experience. I love, you know, getting to work with other people, getting to see two points of view, students' point of view and teachers' point of view and some teachers who are professors, college students, and just even your everyday parents. I thought it was a really cool experience. We always had input, and we were able to work with Colin, I believe his name was, and he always asked our input, and our group always responded so that I felt like we were heard. Um, and those words, they might sound very simple, but we had a great big list to pick out of, and everybody narrowed those words down with reasons and will be so beneficial for the students going forward. I think when we are talking about the six different elements, like I was reflecting on my experience and thinking, how was I prepared to go to college or prepared to do whatever I chose to do? There was opportunities that I had in high school that I think like being a part of clubs that really promoted like leadership helped me. But now having the portrait of a learner, I think having different attributes that we are spread across the entire campus and not just limited to like certain clubs can help everyone no matter what path they take. I think it will help them, you know, as far as like the next step, which is college, but another further step, you know, becoming, whether whatever you have a job, becoming a parent, all that stuff. I think it helps students prepare for anything in life. I have a child that's in a self-contained classroom. His name's Maddie. He's at Perry High School. Um, he's blind, he uh, has cerebral palsy, he has epilepsy. Even within those six values that were created, I could see ways for him to grow and learn. I, th I just think it would help kids to learn that like, like compassion and empathy can like help ma make a difference in other people's lives.